You finish those ortho views for me? There you go. Looks great. Thanks. Here's the key to the cabinet. Whatever books you take out, be sure to put them back when you're done. They're too old and fragile to carry around. I will. And leave the key in the lock. I'll grab it later. Anything else? I'll see you in a bit. Suit yourself. This cornerstone looks different than it did in that book. Hey, little guy. What's up? What are you doing? Hey! Come back here! He must have some kind of nest up there.
Hello? Nancy, hi. I hadn't heard from you and just wondered how you were doing. You at the school? I sure am. So how's it going? Great. The girls I met so far are bright and interesting and seem to like me. Of course they like you. I hope so, because I can tell already that where you fit in socially around here is huge. They got a pecking order going, huh? And it is brutal. Like junior high on steroids. Just be yourself and you'll do fine. Be myself? Ned, I'm a detective. I'm pretty much here to spy on people. If they get wind of that... Like I said, just lie through your teeth and you'll do fine. What about the case? Any luck tracking down the source of those mysterious notes? They're being sent by someone who signs them as the Black Cat, complete with a paw print and scratch marks. And only valedictorian candidates have been getting them. Think someone there has a grudge against brainy kids? Or one of the brainy kids is trying to get rid of her competition. Being valedictorian is that big a deal? It's a very big deal. The valedictorian gets a college scholarship. Full ride, school of her choice. But how smart can these kids be if they're intimidated by a bunch of silly notes? It's midterm study break. The kids who chose to stay at the school are cramming for tests and madly writing papers. The notes may be silly, but they're still distracting. And some of the accidents that have followed them have been pretty malicious. Malicious, huh? You're not posing as a valedictorian, are you? No, I'm not. Good. Although I am living on the same floor as they are. You just had to throw that in, didn't you? Sorry. So what is your plan? I'm going to search every inch of this place and question everybody I see until something or someone leads me to the black cat. And in the process, you're going to be very, very careful. Right. Right. I've met all the valedictorian candidates. Cool. Tell me about them. Kareen, the girl I'm rooming with, she's not exactly Miss Popularity. What makes you say that? So far, I've only met one girl who even halfway likes her. That's not good. At this school? It's a disaster. Keep going. Who else? Believe it or not, there's a goth living in the room next to mine. A goth? As in weird hair and disturbing body piercings? At an exclusive East Coast all-girl boarding school? She's a legacy, meaning the women in her family have been attending Waverly for generations. If you're a legacy, you're automatically accepted. You're not automatically liked, however. She doesn't have a lot of friends? Doesn't seem to. Is she into black cats? Don't know that yet. Maybe I'm a sucker for obvious suspects, but it sounds to me like you should find out. Keep going. Who else? Izzy Romero is a valedictorian candidate and student body president. Is she nice? She is to me, so far. But that's probably because I'm still new to the pecking order. She's at the front of it? Oh, yeah. She rules the roost around here, that's for sure. But she's not without enemies. Roost rulers seldom are. Especially when they steal their classmate's boyfriend. Now that's just asking for trouble. Keep going. Who else? Lila Yadev is Waverly's star athlete. And man, is she competitive. Spends most of her time in the rec room trying to get people to play games with her. She's a valedictorian? Yep. Shouldn't she be studying like everyone else? Says she's got everything under control. Academically, at least. Socially, her roommate Izzy just stole her boyfriend. Yikes. So what's she going to do about it? Right now? Nothing. She's going to let Izzy stew for a while and worry about what she's going to do about it. Ooh, this Izzy person could be in for it big time. Keep going. Who else? This girl named Rachel asked me to help her with a school project. How'd you get out of that? I didn't. I told her I'd help her. And actually, it's a good thing. Gives me an excuse to go poking around, talking to people. So what's this Rachel person like? Well, no one around here seems to like her very much. How come? Bad breath? B.O.? Poor taste in shoes? She's just strange somehow. Kind of absent-minded. She scares some kids, and she seems to keep to herself. The quiet loner type, huh? Better keep an eye on her. All the seniors here get assigned weekly work-study jobs. Guess what mine is? Cleaning erasers. No. Collecting milk money. No. Sharpening pencils. Snack shop boss. Snack shop boss? I have to stand behind the counter in the rec room and fill kids' snack orders. If I don't do it at least once a day, I get demerits. If I fill a lot of orders in one day, I get credits. You sound excited.
I am excited. I like earning credits. I also like listening in on everybody's conversations while I fill their orders. Ah. The notes from the Black Cat may have something to do with a teacher named Rita Hollowell. Oh yeah? What'd she teach? Literature. At least she did, about 150 years ago. Excuse me? She helped found Waverly Academy back in 1866. And do you think she has something to do with notes being sent to students now? Not only did she have a black cat, but it looks like she hid something very valuable somewhere in Ramsey Hall. That's the old building I'm staying in. That's interesting. Does anyone else know about this? I'm not sure, but if someone does know and is trying to find out what Hollowell hid, that might explain the notes from the black cat. You know, you're going to have to be real careful what you ask and tell people from now on. Because if someone is trying to find it, and realizes you may be trying to find it too... I'll be careful, Ned. Don't worry. Too late. The school administration accused Mel of plagiarizing a paper. So even Waverly girls cheat, huh? Actually, turns out she was innocent. You sure about that? Sure am. I'm the one who cleared her. So what was the deal? Well, it appears she was framed by the guy who used to be dating Leela, but is now dating Izzy. Whoa. Untangling that little web should keep you busy for a while. Time to do some more snooping. Stay out of trouble. I'll try, but you know me. Bye. I'm here. Greetings once again. That book on music theory you checked out, could I take a look at it? No problem. As long as you go get me some milk and a cookie from the snack shop, it's not that I'm too lazy to do it myself, it's just that... You have a certain image to maintain. And milk and cookies don't exactly enhance it. Understood. I'll be back. <laughs> 